Hello guys, in this video we are going to see how we can implement interstitial add inside our list view. So when I click on any item of a list view, first it will show me interstitial add and when I click on cross, then it will take me to the different screen. So let's see how we can build this. So to build this, first I have created a get list function in which I will return the map list of map. Uh, inside the map I have created title, label, artist and duration. So I will use this list for uh, rendering my list view. So let's get render our list view first. So inside the body property I will do list view dot separated and inside item builder it will give me context and then index. So using this context and index I will return a list tile. And then inside separated builder, it will same give me context and uh, index. Inside separated builder, I will use a sized box as a separator. So I will pass sized box with a height of 8.2. After this, after this inside item count, I will uh, give the length of our song list function dot length and then uh, inside the separated builder inside item builder what I will do I will create a map variable string dynamic and it will be music equal to get song list dot element at and I will pass the index that I got from here so now the uh, now the element is inside my music variable so i can use music variable to render inside my list view so first inside a list list tile i will create a leading property and inside this i will create a circle avatar and then i will override a background image and provide a network image inside this i will pass the url from my music variable and uh, my url consists inside the label property here it is so i will pass here label and then inside title property i will use text and then i will render the text to using this music variable and uh, music variable and inside music variable i will ask for the title so i will pass here title and then inside subtitle same will be here inside music i will ask for the artist and now you can see that our list view is now rendered and now we want to show the interstitial ad when the user clicks on the item of a list view so to do to implement this what we will do inside a list tile i widget i will over override the on tap method and then i will call the load interstitial add function and it requires context and music info for music info i will pass music so let's see the code of our load interstitial add inside load interstitial add i have required two parameters i have first called a build context and second is our music info so inside build context it is required because we want to navigate to the different page so it requires build context so i have a uh, I have asked for build context inside the load interstitial add and another is our music info. Using this a a map, we will pass the data to the next screen. That's why I have asked for two variables inside our load interstitial add. First is build context and second is music info. So inside this load interstitial add, I have a a shown the inter interstitial add. And I have already created video on how to show interstitial ad inside Flutter application. So you can watch that video from link videos description. So inside interstitial ad dot load, I have shown the interstitial ad. And then when the interstitial ad got dismissed, we want to switch to the different screen. So inside this on add dismissed full content screen callback, we will navigate to the different screen. So let's navigate to the different screen. So for navigating to a different screen, we will use navigator and then push method inside this. It requires context and we are getting context from the this variable. 
we, that we have substituted here and then inside route we will pass the material page route material page route and inside builder it will give me a context so now and we will we have to return the next screen we want to show so here i want to show the mu music screen activity so i have returned music screen use const and now it requires semicolon here so now when a user clicks on it first it will show the interstitial ad and then when the user dismisses the interstitial ad it will move to the different screen so let's check whether it is working or not so when i click on an item it will first show me an interstitial ad or when the interstitial ad got closed we will move to the navigate to the music screen with screen activity so let's check whether it is working or not so when i click on an item of a list view first it has to show a interstitial ad to me so now interstitial ad is not shown so when i click on close then it will navigate me to a music screen widget so i am on the music screen widget right now so inside music screen widget a screen activity i have returned the container so i have to return scaffold and then inside body property i will call the column then inside body inside the children what i will do i will create a image dot network and i will ask for the url of the image and then i will use const sized box for spacing between the images so i will use sized box and inside the text property i will ask for the song title song title and then i will give a space of around 6.0 and then inside text property i will render the artist name so our artist and then i will use u2022 for rendering dot and then i will call the duration song duration in this way i will show render the music screen activity so first what i require is the url of my image so first i will what i will call so final string song image image and then i will ask for the final string song name and then final string song art artist name artist and then final string duration okay so inside the music screen i will call all these variables so add final for formal argument and then i will call it required and now we are ready so instead of src we will use here song name song image and then inside text song title we will use song name and inside the artist name we will use we will use artist and inside song duration same we will use duration okay so now we are ready to render our screen so let's come inside interstitial list dot dart and inside this we have to pass this all variable inside our music screen so in remove const and then first song image we will use music info that we are getting from here so we will use music info music info and we are uh, our image inside music info is is with the label is with the tag of label so we have to use this label and we have to call it here so now inside song name we will use music info and then title because we have a music name inside the title property of map so now inside is song durate inside duration we will use music info and then 
we have a duration inside our song duration so we have to call it here and it last it requires artist so inside music info we have artist inside our artist very uh, type property so i will call it artist here so when i click on the items of uh, list view first it will show me interstitial ad so la ad our ad got loaded so when i click on close we move to the second screen with a uh, this variable which which i am fetching from the this list of our map that is get song list so come inside music screen dot dot so inside our music screen dot dot we need to make some minor changes because our widget is at the top so inside column property first i will use main axis size so main axis size should be our minimum and when i hit save you have you can see that our list is now at the uh, always at the top so uh, inside i will wrap this column with a center widget and hit save so now you can see that our widget is at center so when i click close and when i click on the uh, items of our list view first it will show me interstitial ad so our ad got load uh, when i click on close it will give, let me to take a different screen with, with the data which which we are getting from our list view interstitial list view from our get song list so so in this way you can build interstitial ad with list view inside flutter application thanks for watching